Welcome to the 901. I'm Avery Braxton. Happy Mamba Day to all those who celebrate. Today is August 24th, AKA 824, AKA the day we celebrate the late great Kobe Bryant. It's been two years since we tragically lost Kobe. The five time NBA champion was also a 15 time all star and Hall of Famer. He was also a fierce warrior and advocate for the women's basketball game. Yesterday on his birthday, Sabrina Ionescu, his mentee, one of many, wore a Kobe jersey in his honor on the way into her playoff game. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. We're 10 days away from game one of the Tigers football season. They're taking on Mississippi State and practice get a little noisy. The Tigers are using cowbells to simulate the loud environment they'll be facing when they travel to Starkville. Offensive coordinator Tim Cramsey said it's all about generating focus. Again, we try and simulate the situation that we're going to be in that following game or this first game that we're going to play um, times 10. So make it a, a thousand times worse, which is why we got cowbell standing next to every basically every individual player and making noise. Aaron Wilson's got much more on the game like conditions during ABC 24 at 10. Now don't be surprised if you begin to see less of your favorite NBA stars in these pro-ams, especially after the recent incident in Seattle. NBA rookie and number two pick Chet Holmgren may have ligament damage in his foot after injuring it in the crossover pro-am. Holmgren took on a charging LeBron James on a fast break and came up limping. The game was later canceled after conditions of the court became too slick due to condensation and the sheer number of folks in the gym on a humid Seattle day and get your gloves ready to head to the ball game. The Redbirds take on Charlotte tonight. First pitch, 7.05. That does it for your 901. I'm Avery Braxton.